Today's video, I went into this album expecting not to like it. It's important to understand that as I wanted to go in and figure out what is it about this album that I will enjoy or not enjoy. The whole idea being that it's most likely that you're going to hear a lot of negative criticism in this video, but I wanted to give it my best fair shot regardless. It is not in the purpose of this video to make fun of the artist or the fan base. You guys are allowed to like whatever the hell you want. And I usually look down at making a sort of intro like this as I find it to be unnecessary, but uh, sometimes people need a reminder that, yeah, it is just my opinion, so take that as you will. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a bread taste in music, and today I'm going to be reacting to the new Youngblood album titled Youngblood. It's a self-titled project. If you couldn't tell by the excessive imagery behind me, this guy is a, is a hell of a character. At least I'm assuming off of the image that he puts off, even though the few songs that I've actually heard from this project have been extremely tame. I've heard like two songs, and neither of which felt like they were really this unhinged rock energy they felt more like uh, watered down crappy pop music but that's what we're here today to figure out is it worth my attention what's going on you've seen him live twice not gonna lie one of my favorite acts well hey maybe he does put on a good live show all i know is this i'm judging the book by its cover this dude looks ridiculous it looks like a complete joke. Uh, yeah, I hate the look. What the fuck is this? 13 reasons why. Either way, 13 songs, 36 minutes. It's got a lot of things. Uh, the overall reception of this album has been honestly pretty negative. But I'll be honest with you, that is just in my circle of music critics. Let's be honest. Okay, you could look at this guy and, and tell that people would not fuck with this shit. You know what I mean? in the music critic sphere. Uh, here, I'll show you the degree in which people don't fuck with it. So the average score of this album is a 36. Overall rating of everything is relatively eh. That scares me a little bit because uh, the fact that it's not very up and down tells me that we might get something that's just extremely tame and safe, which I'll tell you right now is not what I want as an entertainer. So, with that being said, it's Youngblood, the self-titled album. Let's see what the fuck this is. First track, The Funeral. Uh, the most popular song on this album, by far. This is young blood with the quick views. I got no clean clothes and I cry and I hate myself, but that's all right. And I love myself. No one. Let's talk about the music really quickly, I guess. Uh, everything's very straightforward. He's talking about how he's going through a lot of shit. He loves himself. He hates himself. He's very emotional, very back and forth. Uh, he mentions that he has an STD, and I'm not sure if this is uh, real shit, but if he does, then that really does fucking suck. I don't know. There's just something very overdramatic and unrealistic about this part of it. But besides that, I feel like I'm just sort of presented with an underwhelming... Uh, someone said Billy Idol style rock song. At least it's not as bad as mainstream sellout. That's true. That is true. YouTube, please take down the stream. I can't anymore. Can't stand with my set. Oh, oh, I hate, uh, see, the song was okay until it started becoming about we, because then the song went from a shame, shame, shame to a sham, sham, sham. I'm sorry, but as soon as it becomes we all hate ourselves, then there's clearly a collective and there clearly is a community. So it all of a sudden becomes a tantrum. It doesn't feel real anymore. Because then you're reaching out to a to people who exist, who are there, who would be there, people you connect with. So then all of a sudden, saying that nobody's going to show up feels like a uh, a cry, a, a shot at the dark, which is unfortunate. Because I feel like without that, this song would be believable and okay. But I I do believe that that completely cracked the illusion for me, which sucks because I was ready to give this a shrug. Reason being, I think that even though I don't love the aesthetic. I think that this is an okay start. I think the song's somewhat catchy. 
is sure it's it's not the most likable but trust me this is 10 times more likable than something like mgk but unfortunately i feel like with oh with that last part of it i i hate dude i feel i'd feel guilty but i gotta give it a red oh. headphones i'd really by the end it just sort of felt like a fetishization of it and it, it hurt let's hope it picks up tissues I'm loving the vocals, admittingly. This is a sample of The Cure. This song feels like one giant cliche. It's so groomed. It feels so disingenuous just in terms of the sound. I wish he was going for something a little bit more raw, especially once again, I will bring up his image. I feel like that that does tie into the music in some sort of way, whether you like it or not. Yeah, well said. There's not a lot of revelry. Like it, like it feels like a fake feeling of revelry. Throughout this video, I think I misinterpret his look. I think it's supposed to be like a like a childish tantrum looking feeling, but I think I also was like, eh, it kind of looks like a rock star rebel. No, it looks like a child throwing a tantrum. Ugh, and I hate that because it, it's like, like the entire, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. It sounds like he's combining like punk, like pop punk with modern day Harry Styles, which comes off sounding like it, it would be like a, a montage in a, in a, in a, one of those like, Mid 2000s DreamWorks movies, right? He's also the way he's singing. I can't even pull together. Like he sings like like he's got you know his his jaw wired. Yo, G, they can't stop me from rapping, can they? I'm glad you enjoy it, Jeremy. One thing I love about Jeremy is his enjoyment of this song makes me l take a deeper look at what possibly could be, like, really enjoyable about this. <laughs> the bright melody. <laughs> That's about it, unfortunately for me. I, I, I just, I can't get behind this shit, but I still, we still love you, Jeremy. All right, I want to go over the lyrics of this one. I felt left out like a child. Don't you feel like you want my heart to go? Everyone wants to be adored. Everybody want to feel love. Everybody want to be adored. I can't keep holding my breath. God forbid you leave me like all the rest did. I'm in love again, and tomorrow I'll be sad. Take it out of my chest. You tell lies, but I can handle the truth. It sounds so heavenly to me. I don't want you... You to hide your issues, blow them into your tissues. Okay, I have an issue with these lyrics, and I really am struggling to pinpoint what it is. But for some reason, I just don't like the writing, and I wish I had an easy way of putting it into words why. Yeah, there's just something very confusing about this. I, I wish, I wish again, I had an easy way of putting it, but... Man, I, I just don't feel it. That being said, you know, you might also be saving yourself, because apparently it only goes downhill from here. Uh, these are apparently the best songs. Next song we have me Memories featuring Willow. Maybe Willow will do all right. Green Day. I don't understand this cheery sound palette though. Oh God. Do you just look at album of the year score and your opinions based on that LMAO? I assume that people on Album of the Year are going to dislike this just based off the dude's look, aesthetic, and style. So to be fair, I, I feel like I look a little bit deeper than that. I'm not going to go in like, oh, I'm going to avoid the score because I'm afraid of things getting spoiled. I feel like I've done a good job at like working around that and being able to observe how other people feel and then make up my own opinion. I know that there are people who don't like looking at music in that way, and that's fair, but I prefer to look like 
just like at the general consensus and then sort of compare how I feel with others. It's a catchy chorus, I like it. I don't love the lyrics. I started listening uh, Returns yesterday, by the way. I'm sorry, but Paramore exists. That's all I gotta say. Paramore exists. Have you have you actually listened to Paramore's lyrics? Okay, they are amazing. They tackle this shit in a brilliant way. That's like one way sarcastic, self aware. Like like you actually get something that feels human out of it. But this, you just sort of get like a like a like a a temper tantrum with a little bit of seasoning on it. I just can't take this seriously at all. I made the mistake of walking in a hot topic one day and the entire back was just t-shirts of young blood. Comes off as the kind of guy who would uh, be next to Nirvana in the uh, Spencer shop, you know? No, I, I, I don't think this guy's an industry plant. Look, the, the very easy to follow along with aesthetic. Oh wow, another guitar solo, that's just the chorus melody. Uh, anyways, I'll repeat that. I'll say that um, I could believe that Young Blood would make it, and I don't think he's an industry plant. I think that's just a, a low jab. Uh, it's very believable that someone like this would would make it in the industry. The the sound is very palatable, and the look is very edgy. He knows what he's doing. I think the guy is probably a really smart guy. I just think that the decisions he's making in terms of his music is just dull. I just think that the music isn't all that interesting to me. I found that song to have somewhat of a catchy chorus and somewhat of a catchy feeling in the background. It's fine, but I really don't like the lyrics. I feel like I'm in the same boat with this as I am with a lot of the other songs. I'm going to give it a low shrug. I really actually found Willow's uh, inclusion to be intolerable and Youngblood's chorus to be kind of fun. All oh, the memories I know, you know, stuck in my brain. I can't get rid of these memories, you know, it's whatever. All right, let's see where it goes from here. Let's let's continue. Troll kids. <laughs> Cause I'm an island boy. I'm island boy. Don't love the singing here, admittingly. Don't love the singing. Oh God. Oh God! Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh God! Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We're now at the deep cuts. Literally, as my heart, I feel like it's been severed by the true impactful emotion of this track. But I know I don't want to do what the cruel kids do. Ew. Oh God. Uh, oh my god. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, this one's really bad. At least it's short. Art is dead, killed by information. You've gotta be fucking... Oh, and so it begins. This is, this is where it starts to get difficult. I could feel it. You know, at first we're like, alright, we get the fun hits, now we get the the really salty deep cuts. Fuck him for straight, I'm guilty too. Oh, stop. Oh my god. Don't leave me alone. Hey! Cause I'm an island boy. Crow Kids is terrible. It's a it's a giant cliche of a song with a really, really obnoxious pre-chorus. I don't wanna be alone. I don't wanna be alone. Don't wanna be alone. God damn, that was literal torture. Uh, that song was terrible. It's the worst one so far, and I'm really hoping it's not a forecast for the rest of this project. I thought the lyrics were completely insufferable. Uh, yeah, that song was terrible on every level. It's a, it's a massive red headphones and by oh. far the worst song. Again. Please tell me this is a fluke. Next song we have here. Let's see where it goes. Mad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, it's so wrong. It's so wrong on so many levels. I'm on the lean for real. Yeah. It's the lean. All the drum lines are the same. What, you don't like the word slurring? That's... <laughs> I can't. I'm fucking dying looking. I'm so glad I picked this image. This was the perfect image to choose for this shit. Uh, I'm going mad. I think I'm going mad. <laughs> oh, his lips are dry. <sighs> okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Dog. Oh my god, that was terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, wow. That that gave me a headache. That song gave me a headache. I thought it was completely obnoxious. I thought the sound of it sounding like a bed of roses, yet talking about, I'm going mad! I'm going mad! Yeah, that, that song. Let's just say that if I have to take the rest of the day off, that song might be to blame. Next song, I Cry Too. And that live red carpet you bought spanking new Your last relationship what is this flow? That's a lot of other tunes. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Incredible. It's amazing how he's concerned that the internet doesn't believe that he's gay. And he has to respond by saying, All men are bad, he he. Wow, that's the most genuine response I've ever heard in my life to that. Clearly it's something that bothers you enough to address it in a song, so give a joke response to it, right? That's the song in a nutshell, I feel like. It's, everything is fetishized and covered in glitter. When it really doesn't need to be. It needs to just be straightforward and honest. But nah. Because that doesn't do numbers. If that's what you want to see. God. Queer baiting? No. It's not queer baiting. He's just not being completely honest about his issues. Clearly, it's something that bothers him. So why make it a joke about I'll, I'll start dating men when they go to therapy when clearly the issue is everyone online saying I'm not really gay? How is this a solution to the issue that he's concerned with everyone online talking about him in this way? It just seems like his entire life is consumed by everyone online, right? And this this is him saying, oh yeah, I'll go date men eventually. Yeah, don't, don't like, you, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't actually address anything or say anything to, to the previous line. Jesus Christ. Dog. When your biggest concern is people online accusing you of not actually being gay. It's it's amazing. He cries too, you guys. Can you believe it? Love it. Great auto tune. Amazing. Next sweet heroin. I remember I went to the hosp mental hospital crying. Eh? Why is everything s okay? Uh, you know what? I'll give this one the benefit of the doubt because it's called Sweet Heroin, right? So it could sound like Candyland for that exact reason. But the entire sound palette of this album has sounded like again, it's been like, like soaked in bubble gum. I I hate it. You guys want to listen to Gabby Hanna's album after this, which also apparently has a higher average rating than this? It's called Trauma Queen. This is this is what it is, Trauma Queen. That's that's a good that's a good one for the thumbnail right there. His 
like in 1975 at Dignity. I made a man so happy when I wrote a letter once. Jesus Christ. It didn't even feel like a complete song. It feels like a like a half baked idea turned to like the start of a song ending just out of nowhere. That was That was oh. miserable. I'm ready for people to be like, Brad, you're not giving real criticism. Look, he's not giving a real performance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's some bullshit. I'm calling bullshit, alright? Bullshit. That's it. That's my criticism. Bullshit. Sex, not violence, the name of this next song, okay? It's called Sex, Not Violence. What is this, Take On Me Part 2 now? Oh, we know. Oh, we know. Don't spread hate, spread more cheeks. Ew. Yeah, that guitar is terrible. Oh. The compression, the mix, everything sounding like a rejected 1975 song mixed with uh, Justin Bieber and the Kid Leroy's stay levels of reverb makes this song truly torture. Okay, so now we have obligatory, um, predatory, question mark, uh, pop punk artist line, you know, big old question mark here. Um, it's in everyone's head, fornication in the classroom, what you got between your legs, honey. Ow, 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 I'm just reciting, okay, okay. Science is ignorant about you? Well, I guess he's in the, you know... Science is ignorant about you, aka... Age is just a number! EDP 1975. <laughs> EDP 1975. That is so fucking funny. What's that? Another guitar solo that's just the chorus? The ending was kind of catchy, and I appreciate the fact that this song feels complete, considering there was a handful of tracks that really didn't feel like they were finished. This song feels finished. Now, I don't like this song at all. For me, it's a red headphones. I think it's annoying. Dog. I think that it's obnoxious. I think that it's kind of creepy and weird. I think sex and violence... Don't, it just the song doesn't fucking make sense to me. I don't know what he's trying to get at here. Uh, regardless, heard worse... I heard way, 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 way better. Let's see what you get up, up, the, up your sleeve next, young blood. With uh, "Don't Go." I accidentally opened up this playlist that just has "Ring a Ling" by Black Eyed Peas in it. Can't understand how any musicians would feel good releasing this. It's catchy, but serves no purpose added to the music world. It adds nothing. I think it's even more harmful by the fact that it's under a self-titled name, meaning that this is who you define yourself and your character as. Ugh. There's gotta be a label behind this shit, like, pulling the strings, right? I've been the morning, oh my god, it's so... Alone, so I, I heard know. you guys like MGK. Drum patterns the same on every song. I'm in love with an emo girl. I'm in love with an emo girl. I'm in love with an emo girl. This dude created literal like car wash waiting room background music, dude. Like, what the fuck is this? Brad's emo album would slap. I did make an emo album, and it has about half the user score that this album does. Okay, okay so be careful what you wish for. All right, people are like, Brad, like, I want to hear you make an emo album. <laughs> you know you don't. It's not very good. <laughs> all right, I'll play you guys a song from it, all right? It's a really bad album. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make a song about our feelings. I have to. Why 
Why is the world so shitty? Why <laughs> is my strength so laggy? I <laughs> okay, I think we've heard enough. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not much of an improvement, admittingly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Could these songs be more generic and predictable? Don't Go is probably the most wall like pa like wallpaper song I've ever heard in my fucking life. Oh my god. After hearing that, this isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. It's a red headphones. It's terrible. Dog. It's the most boring background music I've ever heard in my life. Four writer credits? Yeah, I'm not surprised. This dude has, uh, has someone else's hand up his ass. Don't feel like feeling sad today. Wow. Deep. Myself, oh, oh, I'm dancing with myself. Young blood never broke again. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off Yo, of these people? He did it! He did it! He rhymed silence with violence! He did it! Ladies and gentlemen, that's 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 a benchmark right there. You know what? This 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 is this is agonizing. This is terrible. This is disgusting and I don't want to have to explain myself. I just want to say ew and I want to be valid. Y'all hating too hard. It's only kind of trash. It's only kind of trash. Bro, I I'm telling you like I yesterday I decided to listen to to Tool, right? Now I'm going to be one of those people. You know what I'm saying? It was like, "Oh my god, Tool the greatest band of all time." Now just saying, this shit sounds nice. Parab parable. The same guy who made Parabola. I want you to imagine this. This guy is the singer. Now, that transition, beautiful. It's a nice little piece of rock music. Do I expect that from Youngblood? Fuck no. Okay, I'm just saying, like, just barely trash. All right, after listening to some shit like that, I, I'm telling you, like, last night, I was, I was re-listening this song over and over again, all right? This is probably my favorite song on the album. Just that transition. This body, this body only me. It's like this pain is an illusion. If you don't understand, I'm a peculiar guy. You could say I'm a creep or a weirdo if you prefer any. This is a shittier dancing with myself. I don't know if you've been here for the last 10 songs, but they've all been a shittier version of dancing with myself. Every single one of them. I'm waiting for him to change up the style so that I can stop comparing it with dancing with myself because I, I don't want to keep doing that. I'm tired of it. It's not funny anymore. As, so As someone who lived through the plastic pop punk... Uh, as someone that lived through Plastic Pop Punk at the first time, I'm not really happy it's back. You are preaching to the choir. I hated it on its first uh, wave, and the re-arrival of it has felt like a... Uh, uh, it's like it's inevitable sometimes. You know, you can't, you can't fix these things. You can't change these things. But it's gross. It's hard to stomach. The, the wave that MGK has brought back to the mainstream is just bringing some of the worst music I've heard in a while. But then again, you know, if it wasn't this, it was Dance Hall, which for a while was like the worst wave. It's going to come and be replaced with something else terrible. And all these artists are just trend chasing right now, trying to get their albums out, trying to sound like, you know, this big, important crap. 
seriously, listen to this. Listen to the new um, Black Bear album. I'm going to hit shuffle. And I'm just literally going to throw a dart. And whatever song I'm going to land on is going to sound like a shitty, generic MGK ripoff. I miss you, but I never really knew you at all. Run through all these thoughts in my mind. Fuck you, I love you at the same time. Wow. I you another fucking birthday. I ain't heard from you at every single table. I'm telling you, it's the same fucking crap, dude. No, it is. It's literally the same song. Everyone's doing this crap because it makes money. There's there's no integrity to it, all right? <laughs> the Russian roulette starting to feel enticing. Don't feel like feeling sad today is another song that feels incomplete, barely even reaching two minutes, this time not having a weak guitar solo to fill in the gaps. Uh, somehow feeling even more empty. It's a red headphones. Dog Tony Hawk Pro Skater soundtrack if made today. Uh, we got three songs left. The fuck is this? Die for a night first. Lyric is pain is a language I can read. <sighs> pain is a language I can read. <laughs> Come on, man. So now he's making an Oasis song. <laughs> Guys, he's out of cigarettes. What is he going to do? What is this what is this millionaire rock star going to do? He's out of cigarettes, you guys. Ah! 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 I can't go to the store and purchase more. If I could die for a night. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this song's called Die for a Night. Oh my god. God, man. I mean, I want to be like considerate because clearly he's saying he's going through so much pain. He just wants to die for a night and then wake up tomorrow when he's feeling better. But like, I can't, especially with like this, all I want is a cigarette and I've got, I have none left. Like, oh my God. Wait, this is not even, it's a minute and 30 second song. Bet he's 16, he can't just buy a cigarette at the store. Oh, oh. <laughs> how old is Youngblood? Okay, now, I will give Youngblood one thing. One thing that's uh, that's better than uh, Black Bear, that's better than MGK, okay? He's 25 years old. Now, you may say, you may still be like, Bradley, that's a bit old to be making this kind of shit. MGK is like, MGK is like way too old. You're just saying, 25 fine all right that's the only positive i could give this is he's still in that age where he can get away with this shit the boy in the black dress final song of the south please give the sweet release of cory feldman for the love of jesus i'm begging you dancing with my set f r r oh dancing with my set f r r oh dancing with Yeah, Black Bear, the guy who I showed you earlier, he's 31 years old. How is that even fucking possible? That dude is 31? Motherfucker's 31! I showed my therapist Black Bear when I was 11. That was so embarrassing. I showed my dad Eminem when I was a kid. I still will never live that down. I, 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 oh. Man, he judged me so hard for that shit. I was like trying to explain to him that Eminem's not the worst artist of all time. You know? You know, fuck <laughs> I should have showed my dad back. I want to make a, a quick addressment of the chat in this uh, in this segment, as I believe that they are just trying to have fun and they're joking around, but some of the stuff they say it does come off as inconsiderate, especially if you're taking this song very seriously, The Boy in the Black Dress, which I assume to be dealing uh, with sexual insecurity, potentially, uh, like, feelings of homosexuality. Um, I feel like a lot of people were making somewhat insensitive comments, but they were, uh, to put it lightly, just not really taking the the video or the album all that seriously. I don't think they understood the weight of the song, and I don't think that they were intending to be rude or disrespectful. Please keep that in mind. 
My god, I can't. I'm skipping to the part where it says there's music because I can't fucking listen to this shit. It's it's actually agonizing. The way he sings, all the vocal effects on his voice to make him sound like an AI. Yikes, dude. Yeah, no. So this song, I think, is about the boy in the black dress is, I think, like, um, like his, uh, I, I would assume a homosexual side of him which he's trying to erase, right? And trying to get rid of, he feels frustrated by. I like what the song is like meaning and trying to go for. I think it's completely fucking unlistenable though. I'd give it a red headphones. I think the execution is terrible, though I like the idea of the song. Holy shit, this album sucks. Now, did I expect it to be good? No. Did I expect it to be literally a Billy Idol ripoff every single song? Fuck no, dude. Nah, this, I mean, this whole thing just feels like this really shallow, like, cheap aesthetic that's being played for, for, in just the most pathetic way, barely holding on to it and writing the most generic songs of all time. I mean, this, uh, this makes the new Panic album sound like a creative fountain of youth in comparison. This thing just sounds like it's so outdated, like it's trying to revive this sound over and over and over again while offering nothing and i mean fucking nothing in terms of the songwriting it's lame it's boring it's watered down there's so many filler tracks i can't stand this shit overall i'm feeling a uh, two minus to a solid two on this project so it's about where i think the island boys album is about in that territory. What could Youngblood do to improve? I feel like stop trying to write pop songs. Play into this absurd character. Go for like the most insane look. The most insane style. It's like go borderline Marilyn Manson. You know what I mean? If you're going to go for this edgy aesthetic, go fucking balls to the walls, dude. If you're really this crazy cat that you claim you are, then fucking let that shit loose. Stop grooming these songs for like the most boring like pop punk sad laying in the room audience possible and have some fucking fun with it dude like make something that feels real and from the heart like you actually want to be there this is pathetic ladies and gentlemen my name is bradley i have a bread taste in music and i'm out i'm done thank you everyone for being here i'm going to start a new stream potentially if i'm going to react to a new album but i want to archive this as is so with that being said that is the end of this stream keep an eye out for potentially me reacting to a new one very soon all right I'll see you guys in a bit.